Good morning. Um, thank you for joining us this morning for our morning prayer time at Truth Church. My name is Patrick Millars. This is my wife, Angela Millars. We are the First Steps directors over at uh, Truth Church of Denison. Um, we're so glad that you uh, decided to join us this morning. Um, we want you to join us in prayer today as we pray for our city, our state, and our nation leaders, um, and our nation as a whole, and for our families, and for ourselves. Um, if you would take a minute to like and share this, um, and maybe create a watch party, let's spend the next five to ten minutes in prayer together. Uh, I'm going to start with a scripture, because... Our, our country as a whole has, has, our world as a whole, has never been in the kind of situation that it's in right now. Um, we're the land of the free and the home of the brave, and I know there's a lot of people right now that don't feel very free. Uh, we can't even leave, our, a lot of us can't even leave our houses, um, can't go to Walmart, can't go to the store, can't go, um, I don't personally go to the movies, and neither does me and my wife don't go to the movies, but some people, they would like to go to the movies. They can't do that. You can't go bowling. You can't, you know, you can't go out and do the fun things that we would normally do. Um, it's like God has made a, gave us no choice but to spend time with him. So I'm going to read this scripture and I think it's going to make a lot more sense what I'm trying to say. Second Chronicles 7, 13 and 14 uh, 713, this is God speaking to Solomon. It says, If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people. Now, there isn't necessarily a pestilence been sent. There's not necessarily locusts that have been sent, but there is a trouble in our land like we've never seen before. There is a sickness in our land like, like we've never seen before. I know people think that Maybe it's blown a little out of proportion, but regardless, people are dying from this, and it's a literally a worldwide event that's happening, and and that's that's why we're gonna pray for our leaders and for our nation uh, as a whole to try to pray that they make right decisions. But but this next scripture, I think this is what God is really. I think this is where we're at right now as a nation, or where we need to be right now as a nation. He said, he said, if my people which are called by my name, that is the church. That is me and you, that is the church. That's the church body. We are called by his name. Shall humble themselves and pray. He has given us, he, he, he has humbled us. That's what he's done. We have, we have turned, I'm going to start preaching, I'm sorry, but he, we have turned movie stars into idols, into gods. We've turned, we've turned musicians into, into gods. Uh, you can say, well, they're not gods. Well, who do you give your money to? Who who are you, who are you spending time watching right now? It's and if it's not spending time with the Lord, then then that's your God. Um, so He's humbled us. He's cut all that off. He's 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 made it so He is the one we need to focus on. So so now we need to humble ourselves. We need to do what He's put us in position to do and pray and seek His face and turn from their wicked ways. That's what he said, to turn from our wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal, the, heal their land. I believe that's what God is trying to tell us right now. That's what he's trying to tell us, you know, in this past couple months where he's He's shut everything off. He's He has made it. And I know I just said this, but he has made it. So you have nothing to do but sit at your house. He's cut out all the distractions out of your life. You can't even go to Walmart after 8.30, I think it is. Um, so you are literally stuck at your house. Now, the question is, what are we going to do? How are we going to spend that time? Are we going to spend it stuck in front of the TV and just change our idols from ones we go to see to ones we're watching on TV? Or are we going to spend that time to humble ourselves, to pray, and to seek his face so that he would heal our land. Um, so let's let's take a moment right now, if you would, and and let's pray for our leaders. Let's pray pray for our nation's leaders um, and our nation as a whole. And then uh, then then we'll come back and we'll t my wife's going to speak for a minute, and then we're going to pray for our families and for ourselves. Um, but if you would just join us in prayer prayer in prayer right now. 
to pray pray for our leaders that that they they would make wise decisions in this time that that God would lead them and direct them and they would that they would follow his direction because he can lead and direct but if if they're not going to be obedient it's not going to make much of a difference so let's pray that they're obedient to his leading if you pr- let's pray in the name of Jesus oh lord god we give you praise and i give you glory and i give you honor right now cuz i know that you know what's going on in this world and there's no question about it god you are in control from beginning to the end, God, and I pray right now that you, O oh Lord, would cover our leaders in your blood. I pray, O oh God, that you would touch their minds, touch their hearts, and touch their souls, God. The leaders of these cities, the leaders of these states, and the leaders of the of our nation, O oh God. I pray for our president right now, O oh God, who who's being attacked on every side, O oh God. They can't say, no matter what he says, it's wrong. It doesn't matter what he says, O oh God. I pray, God, for for protection over him. I had your protection about him. I plead your blood over him. God, I play it. I plead your blood over the governors, oh God, that have to make these difficult decisions right now, whether to shut down their cities for good or shut down their states for good, oh God. I pray, oh Lord, you would lead them in every direction. But oh God, above all, I pray, oh God, that they would follow your direction. I pray, oh God, they would follow your leading, oh God, that they would lead not to their own understanding, oh God, but go to your word, Lord, and learn what your word says, oh God, that you will lead and guide and direct, God. I pray, Jesus, that they would, their ears would be opened and their eyes would be opened, oh God, that they would hear from you, oh God, that they would seek your face, oh God, and then you will hear, heal our land, oh God, when your people that are called by your name, when we humble ourselves and when we pray and when we seek your face, oh God, that's when you're going to heal our land. That's, oh God, when you're going to forgive us of every sin, God. I thank you, God, for your word. I thank you, God, for the truth of who you are and the truth of what you're going to do, God. I give you, I trust in you and I love you. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. God, you're so good. Um, I'm going to uh, let my wife speak a little bit um, about our families, uh, about praying for our families and for ourselves. Um, go ahead, honey. I uh, just wanted to share a scripture. Um, Psalms 34, um, in verse 4, it says, I sought the Lord and he heard me mm-hmm. and he delivered me from all my fears. And today, you know, I know many people, maybe you know, it's been a long time since you prayed or maybe, you know, um, things like this cause us to draw closer to God because we know that we need Him and we are a people of need um, because we can't make it without Him. Um, but in verse 7, it says, The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear Him and delivereth them. Mm-hmm. Verse 8 says, O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Today I want to pray that that we put our trust in him. Because God will never fail. He is always faithful. He is always on time. And there's nothing that he doesn't know about. Mm-hmm. Um, God knew this before it ever happened. And just hold on to him. He is your hope. He is your anchor. And he is the one that you can put your trust in, that he will never fail you. Um, Today, I just want to pray for our families. And um, I want to pray for our cities. I want to pray, God, that he would put his angels encamped about us. And that he would protect us. And that he would see us through this. Lord, right now, God, we just trust in you. We plead the blood of Jesus over these families, over the cities. Over, God, each and every worker that has to go out. God, I pray, Lord, over the hospitals and the doctors and the nurses. God, over each and every uh, police officer, fire fire department, oh God. Lord, over everyone that is, is coming in to help in these times of need. God, that our hearts would turn to you. Lord, as the scripture says, that we would humble ourselves and we would turned from the ways that we have gone, that we would seek you, God, because you are good. The scripture says, oh, taste and see that you are good. God, you will never fail us. You are faithful. 
And we put our trust in you. God, you are our hope. And you are a mighty hope. There is nothing too hard for you. We praise you and we glorify you. We thank you for all that you do. And God, we thank you for bringing us through this. Even though we can't see it right now, we're walking by faith. And God, we know that you're going to carry us through. Whatever you bring us to, you will bring us through it. And we praise you. We give you glory. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Um, I thank you again for joining us this morning. Um, if, if I ask, though, that you would take some time. Uh, we have uh, service, live services um, at Truth Church, Denison Page. Uh, fam- I'm sorry, the Facebook page, Truth Church Family or Truth Church Denison. Um, join us there uh, Wednesdays at 7 or mo- Sunday mornings at 930. Join us in prayer every morning except for Wednesday this week at 7 a.m., Um, We are so glad that you joined us this morning and we look forward to seeing you when all this is over. We look forward to seeing you in church with us um, in in, in Truth Church of Denison. We love you and we we pray blessings on your life. We pray an anointing over you and pray protection over your family in the name of Jesus. Um, Be blessed and have, have a great day.